secure that buckle and pull on that strap to tighten. As you exit the aircraft, inflate your vest by pulling down firmly on those rear tabs or blowing into the tubes on both sides. A locator light on the shoulder will automatically illuminate the water. Never inflate your vest inside the aircraft. This Airbus A320 has eight emergency exits. Two doors in front, four window exits over the wing, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with evacuation slides on those. welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel it's your girl nicole please don't forget to like comment and subscribe maybe somewhere here i'll put the little subscribe the button thing here so i went away on a little trip um it wasn't last minute it, the trip was very much so last minute it was more or less of like a weekend getaway um, I'm just getting, I'm, I live in New York, if no one knows, so I was just getting very tired of New York. So you guys will see clips of, I actually got a chance to vlog, um, but the sucky part is because of COVID-19 and where I went, you can't really, um, it's not like I'm limited, you know, I'm limited on space. So I think we all are at this point, we're limited on where we can travel and stuff, so that's I did go to part. Florida. Um, my grandmother lives in Florida. This is where my uncle used to live before he passed. So this is my first time there since his passing. And um, the trip alone was emotional. Um, that's why the trip was short. I, At the time, I just can't do it. I think I want to go back again, um, especially because I'm just out here in New York and I'm by myself. And it just gets... Um, you know, it gets pretty, pretty boring out here. 
but this is not a sad depressing video so you guys probably already seen the clips or you guys probably already see the clips, clips to be honest because i think i'm gonna put it in the beginning and then the second half of this video will be what i got when i um went away like the little shopping that i did do to relieve some of my stress will talk about that so stay tuned let me get the stuff and we'll get ready guys so i didn't get a lot i just got a little something um so you know it, like i said the trip wasn't for that i just felt like i just needed to get something like i don't know if anyone ever gets like that like you get so stressed and overwhelmed that sometimes you need like that retail therapy or just to get out of your environment and just look around whether you buy something or not um this time i actually just saved a little bit of money and um splurged a little bit on myself like i'll even tell you guys the price and everything too because it's really so this I is really not myself, the major um god damn i purchased myself a kate spade um pocketbook so you guys can see it's kind of it's not too big i this pocketbook is smaller than my michael kors pocketbook and it goes around with the strap and then you also get to hold it with the handle so you can see front back it has a little case spade right here now the price of this bag this bag was $429 I went to the Kate Spade outlet and I got this bag for $130 or $139 or something like that um, so I definitely got a very good deal. Um, I hope this bag lasts. Um, my Michael Kors bag, yes, I got that one too from the outlet. I believe it was around 400 as well. And I got it for like one something. Listen, when you're a mom, I mean, take the easy way out. Like, go to these outlets, go shop for yourself. And you can still pick up your son um, or daughter, you know, whichever gender. In my case, my son. I can still pick him up a few pieces too. So I did pick him up some stuff as well. I did include it in the haul. Um, so I apologize I didn't grab it or anything like that. I actually just left it in the laundry so it can be washed and stuff. Um, so yeah, I did pick him up something too, but I'll just show you guys what I got myself. So that purse, um, I even bought a wallet to match it. Um, just because whenever I buy you know the purse you have to buy you know i buy the wallet whatever to match it as well so the kate spade store had 60 percent plus an additional 20 percent in case anybody wants to know and she said that that store was like one of the largest stores i don't know how true that is that's what she told me so whatever um this wallet was originally 129 and i believe this wallet was either 40 or 50 I believe 40 or 50 dollars the swallow was so i didn't get that and i purchased my mm -hmm. silver stick to the case i even purchased these little cute earrings they have bees on them now it was either between these or the ladybugs but again i'm shopping on a budget and the ladybugs were about 15 dollars more expensive than this um these were 39.90 these were $39.99 and with the additional, I believe this one too was the 16, 20, 60% additional 20%. This came up to about $14 to $16. One of those prices between $14 and $16. So that was a deal. And I just purchased these everyday earrings just to stick in my ear. So these earrings were only $16. Oh yeah, the same price, about $14, $16 as well. I think these were $16. I'm going to stick to $16. I definitely think these were $16. So I did purchase these two pieces. And well, these four pieces, however many. And now I went to... I love Michael Kors. Like that was my, this is my first Kate Spade bag. And let's be real, I don't even have a damn job thanks to, you know, COVID-19 messing up everything with schooling and for my son and stuff. So this was really a treat. Was this necessary? 
no treat yourself at your own discretion i treated myself because i'm always buying makeup i buy makeup that i like especially for youtube but i wanted to buy something that i can actually wear and show off like there's not i don't wear makeup every day so that i can't show off at least i can wear a purse you know have my wallet whatever everything can show off if that's even what that is i don't know i just rather I just rather have things that I can show where I spend my money to, you know. So, um, another thing I went, I went to the Michael Kors outlet and I picked up these shoes. Oops. So, these are Michael Kors. They're like little slides, um, but espadrilles because they have the straw at the bottom what i really like about these shoes is that you do not see a noticeable mk or michael kors tag on it this is very 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 sleek simple straight to the point and they're very comfortable so right up here you can see the mk and there's a little m emblem is that how you say emblem right there you can see it as well excuse my nails but besides that, you cannot, it's not crazy. Like, I don't like things that have Michael Kors or, like, I just don't like things that have a bunch of um, labels all over it. I don't like that. To me, not that it looks tacky, I just, just not my thing. Now, everybody needs to know what I have on, and I don't want it to always look like, you know, it's nothing but, you know, it just doesn't, it's not, it's not my thing. I'm not knocking nobody else, it's just not my thing. So these shoes were originally these were 149 and Michael Kors has an amazing sale and these came up to 39.99. So again, Michael Kors outlet went picked it up. The only thing about that outlet, and I went to the Saltgrass Mall, if I didn't say that. The only thing about this outlet was the Michael Kors, like the actual store did not have that much stuff. Like, and then the sizes were off. I mean, they were like really off. Like they had a six, maybe an eight, a size 10. I went there two times. I'm like, let me go. When I get there, I went right before. I like literally went right before I left. And I thought they was gonna have maybe gotten like an inventory so, between them few days you know you go to these outlets sometimes you you know get a few w's sometimes you get a few l's in these outlets these were still a w because when i went the first time they did not have my size when i went before i left they actually had my size so i'm not going to complain but um yeah they were the sizes were like up and down then the um purses they didn't even have that many purses they they had like bright yellow white like colors that i'm not gonna wear colors i wouldn't even buy someone else because they're not gonna wear it colors that can get ruined faster like i just didn't go for it um they even had the michael kors bags but they had michael kors run all over it again like i just said not really my stilo i don't really go for that uh trying to think of what else did they have they had a few pieces of items but a lot of it looked very small um, a few nice jackets that I will say like rain jackets, um, trench coat kind of looking jackets. They did have a few nice ones. Let's see what else did they have. Do more videos like this think. if I ever travel again. We could sit down, go over things that I picked up on my travel. But I hope you guys do enjoy the vlog. That will be in the beginning portion of the video. Um, and until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and that's it, guys. Thinking of